Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast show. We're live, large and in charge on this Thursday morning. Now, Oliana is a dramatic two-character play written by American playwright David Mamet in, two, in 1992. And it follows the story of a student, Carol, and Professor John as they navigate the complications of power dynamics of academia and sexual harassment. Now, 26 years later, in the Me Too or hashtag Me Too era, the play is being presented at Cape Town's Fugot Theatre, starring Nicole Fofain and Alan Kibiti. And they join us uh, to share more about this as they prepare for opening night in about two nights from now. And uh, 36 hours. 30, oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not counting. <laughs> <laughs> Firstly, the poster. Very intriguing. Alan, I've never seen this kind of... Gravitas. Yes, that's huh? the word I was looking for, the, the gravitas. Nicole, beautiful as ever. Um, Thank you. Whoever you choose... You're wrong. Mm. Wow. Okay, so take me through the backstory of this play. It's the two of you on stage. What exactly is happening? So, so the, uh, David Mamet is an incredible American playwright and has been around for many, many decades now. Writes really intriguing plays. And this was one of his productions from the 90s, which, you know, got a lot of attention because it came at the back of the Anita uh, Hill trial and the whole notion of uh, dynamics between men and women. Mm -hmm. And as you rightly suggested, here we are, 25 years later, talking about the same stuff, perhaps even with more intensity. Yeah, yeah. So it looks at this relationship between a slightly older man, a slightly younger woman in teacher-student context. Mm -hmm. It's the verbal dynamics, it's the arguments they get into, and then the accusations that start coming out. Now, are they true or aren't they? The poster says whoever you choose is wrong. It's, you, you saw it this weekend with Serena Williams. You can have this one event. We all watched that video of the te a tennis match. And we can have diametrically opposition, uh, kind of opposite views about what we saw. Yeah. And that's what makes this interesting, you know. Uh, we see things and everyone believes they're right. Everyone always believes they're right. Everyone defends their possibility with such kind of passion. Yeah. Doesn't make you right necessarily. Okay. We listen to the other side and that's what this play explores. All right, so that, that's his take. <laughs> Nicole, let's go to the other side. That's what we've got time for, play. actually. I'm going to have to say we are on the same page with that. Um, the text is very, very layered. It deals with a range of things. And one of my favorite lines in the play is, um, we see things through the screen that we create. And that is definitely true because you can come in there and you can see that this play is about sexism or ageism or language or power in spaces of academia, like with um, Fees Must Fall. Mm -hmm. So you see all of that happening, um, and then you kind of choose, and, and what you choose reveals a lot about who you are. Yeah. And that, I think, is the exciting thing about this for audiences. It's, it's going to tell you a lot about who you are and what you think and what you make of things and what that might mean. Yeah. yeah. The behind-the-scenes photos that we're seeing right now are preparation leading up to what will be a great night, I'm sure, tomorrow. Um, looks like it was very, very intense work. Tell me about what it was like working together uh, on stage, especially because I feel like you, you almost strip naked when it's just the two of you yeah. on yeah. stage and you've got to carry some 90 minutes yeah. mm -hmm. of script work, of text work with a small little breaks in between, but for the most part, you're engaged the entire time. Your brain must be burning up. Uh, yeah, but it's a kind of, it's a great challenge and it's uh, yeah. intellectually it's stimulating. I think emotionally it's interesting. Mm -hmm. Working with someone like Nicole who's, you know, coming off the back of amazing television and film work, coming back to stage, which is exciting for her, I know, it's amazing. <laughs> and for me, who's, you know, normally in the realm of comedy, yes. it's nice to go back and do some proper acting, as it were. And we've we found a really nice connection. I yeah. think we're, we're playing really nicely together. And it has been extraordinary uh, to unpack the text. You can spend... You can spend an hour on three sentences going, do we pause there, yeah. do we follow on there, do we... If we do it like this, what does it mean? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And, and you can create layers of meaning or, or not, as it were. And that, yeah. that's kind of what makes this work exciting. Yeah. I and think also for me, coming into this, um, you always are thinking about what kind of working environment you're going to be in. And um, as a female, especially thinking about, you know, who you're working with and what that means for the text and how you're going to tell the story. And honestly, Working with Greg, our director, and Alan, they've been so open-minded and so introspective and honest and um, open to listening and mm. interpreting that I think that is what has made this text so exciting and special for me to do, was having that space to play. And obviously, Alan is funny and amazing, and it's really, really great to work with Keep him. Keep going. You <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, in, in just a little time I've had to spend with you and, and speak to you about this, I think this is a play that 
uh, everyone should go and see Absolutely. and I really, really mm. especially at such an important time with such a topical yeah. conversation and, and though it's topical well. and though it's going to resonate on many levels it's also just a really good story which yeah. is what we want from theatre absolutely mm -hmm. plus the poster looks absolutely that's incredible. a crystal poster hopefully you'll be signing them after the show so uh, get your tickets they are available right now of course it's at the Fugard theatre check out fugard.com 150 bucks per come ticket. on that's nothing certainly worth your time thank you very much to both of you thank good you. luck with the run thank, thank you thank you